Hi guys, this is a video on how to play Romance of the Three Kingdom 9 for the PCXX2 with version 1.4.0 without any graphical glitches. And I'm going to show you step by step. Uh, I've been doing a little research on this and I finally find a way how to play able to play the game without any graphic glitches. So first, you go to the website to download PCSS X2. So uh, you go here, and then you just download the latest version, which is 1.4.0 for now, and you install it. So after you install it, you go find the ROM download, which I cannot give out the website to get it because you guys have to do it on your own but this is just what I read and found out that the GDSX 1.0.0 result in black background which is the late make it possible to read so you need at least an older graphic plugin which is the 5334 to fix it so here I am thinking okay so it can work and it did work so, um, I'll show you what it looks like before you uh, change the graphics plugin. So, I got here. Put, put it on fast so it doesn't load up very. So, it could skip the uh, loading thing. Loading the boot up. So, this is what it looks like. Romance 3 Kingdom 9 And so here we look at it. Um, and you can notice down here it says start the game but it's very unnoticeable like it's very hard you can look at the colors and they don't really look like the original one of the ps2 so i'm gonna fix it let's try like a many color one okay see so it looks not the color that it's supposed to be so let's just try this And it looks like this. The color is almost playable, but not really playable at this point for now. If you go here, you can see that it's very hard to notice. Okay, so here's the fix for it. First, you go to PCXS2 again, and then you go to Archive Download. And you go to PC Access 2 X2 version 1.0. So you go here. And then you go to Window Binary and download it. Which I already download a little a lot here. But okay, so when you open this, you go download. Right here. And then you go binary. And then you need to extract it to a folder. And then after ex extracting it, you get this one, binary. You click on it, and then you go plug in, and it will have all these dot DLL. And you go for the GSDX5. So you just go for basically any of these but I'm pretty sure it's SSSE3 so you right click on it cut or copy and then 
you go to plug in. Go plug in, and then you go to where you install the PC Access. So I got right here, right here, PC Access 2, and then go plug in, and you see all these. I think so. I put in SSE2, so you should get SSE2. So let me recap you go here, um, PC, right here, plug in. And then SSE2, right click, copy or cut, and then just paste it in here. After that, you close it, and then you close this. Go to PC Access 2, go to config, and go to plugin bio selector. Don't, the most important is a GS right here. So you go here, go to where you it says SSE2 R5350. Click that. Go to apply. And then you go OK. And then let's see if it works. It will work. Definitely. Okay, so let's see if there will be any graphical glitches. By the way, I am using a uh, Bluetooth controller to play this play this game. So, so skip this. Press. That it looks like the original game, like the, this, the graphics been fixed. So you go here, you can see that the color are based on the port. So let's choose uh, same one again. And it seems like, it seems just like the actual game without any graphical glitches. So let's see if I play. The same thing and see if there's any graphical graphic glitches there you go and I hope this tutorial uh, helped you guys and um, if you find this helpful like it if you found this for waste of your time dislike it it doesn't matter to me as much but I just hope that Everybody get to play this game uh, with the right graphics. And yeah, that'll be it. Thank you.